Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin um, hasn't really moved on the weekend, so it's a very, very quiet weekend. Today we've got our member live stream again at 5 p.m. UTC. If anybody's interested, today we're going to talk about profit taking strategies generally for the bull market, but also more generally within the different wave counts. People often ask me, you know, when does it make sense to take profits? Well, see, that's always an individual decision. Really, it is because it depends much more on your personal decision, uh, your personal situation. You know, what was your entry price? What's your average price? Are you in profit? How's your portfolio looking? Cash flow, targets, objectives, time frame. So many different factors. You can't really generalize that, but I can give some guidelines and also with regards to Fibonacci measurements when it usually makes sense to take some profits at least. So we take a look at that today at 5 p.m. UTC in our member live stream. Um, but yeah, overall, the situation hasn't really changed here on the chart. So we still have our white wave count, which I definitely give the benefit of the doubt at the moment. This is the more aggressively bullish scenario that can take the price to, yeah, I mean, 125K plus. Certainly, I'd like to see the price get above 100K. Um, if it achieves that, we'll, we'll see if it breaks earlier then the projection still stands and it would just happen a little later. But for now, the um, white count is unfolding. We give it the benefit of the, of the doubt, especially because the price has shown us on the smaller time frame a first five wave move to the upside. So we're going to take a look at the one hour chart in a minute. Um, obviously, here in this support zone between 35K and 41.8K, yes, the price has started to reverse, but it's not really a breakout yet. There are still many options how the price could just chop around a bit, turn into a triangle or something, or just go back here into the support region. So that's all still possible. It's just not very evident. As long as we're holding above micro support levels on the one hour chart, my focus is on higher. So in this white wave five of three, the price should get to around about 55 to 60K. That would be the next sort of target range um, that can still change a little bit. Extensions are always possible. But yeah, as I said, I give the more directly bullish scenario the benefit of the doubt. That would be the working scenario, my working count. However, it's also important, and that's part of the analysis, to know when this wave count breaks. One of the values of Elliott Wave is to understand when the market will change its mood, when the market is undergoing some changes, and that's the 35k levels. So if we see a sustained break below 35k, I have to assume that the second scenario, the alternative is playing out, that is a deeper B wave pullback and might find good support in the region around 25, 27K. We also have structural support there and it's basically in the middle of the green support area. They are both possible, they are both likely. I don't like the terminology of primary count, alternative count, because essentially, what is it that people do when I talk about a primary count? Yeah, they might, there is at least a risk that they will completely ignore the alternative, even though that is a highly likely scenario as well, and will then like go all in or whatever. Um, that's not the way to do it. The alternative count has to be part of a trading plan as well, you know, um, and it's just knowing when one count will break and when the market changes its mood. That's the benefit, you know, it's not about trading only the primary, it's about trading the relevant pivot points and positioning oneself as close as possible to those invalidation points or pivot points. That gives you really good reward to risk. Um, yeah, it's all about reward and risk, not about trading opinions, okay? So uh, for me, I treat it just, you know, in a very simple way, as long as we are above support, we give the white count the benefit of the doubt. If we see signals on the smaller time frame that the yellow count could be in control even before breaking 35K, yeah, I will mention that. But at the moment, there's literally nothing bearish on the smaller time frame. So I always encourage people to stay in the present. We can only focus on what's in the present, you know, what we see right now. It's not about trying to predict necessarily the future. It's not about being a fortune teller. It's about, yep, what do I see now? And I see a small five wave move up from the 23rd of January low and we're holding above support. So naturally we're looking at higher, you yeah? Very, very important and very actionable because anything else is just pure speculation and uh, you want to overcome that. It's not good practice, not good trading practice to try to call markets, uh, to trade opinions, uh, predict. Not good trading practice, very important. Uh, I know that's a difficult concept to grasp because so many influencers try to
call markets or I don't know, make great calls or whatever, but that's not how it works. It's not about ego and being right, okay? It's about understanding where the market pivots and um, what the relevant levels are. Okay, so this is the micro, okay? And here we have the wave four low in place on the 23rd of January, probably five waves up in a possible wave one. Could be an A wave, but that's the next step to deal with, right? We, we have five waves up. So naturally a focus on higher on the smaller time frame as well. One hour chart support is at 39.6K. Against that level, I focus on higher. It is possible that it's going up directly. I added the orange count yesterday because we don't want to be, no, not yesterday, a few days ago, because we don't want to be surprised. That's a more aggressively direct bullish count. It's just the um, count that acknowledges that, yep, this wave too could actually be over. I mean, the move down reached our target at the time. But it's a little bit too shallow to be a reliable wave too. Um, so, you know, we, we allow for the orange count, the more direct bullish count, um, and a break above this ascending trend line, which represents an inverse head and shoulders, could actually be the trigger for that. So it would be a break above round about 43,870 roughly, but it needs a sustained break and then we could move up in this orange scenario. There are, again, different ways how this upside can be labeled. I just want to make sure that it's clear that, yep, we can go up directly from here. And if that happens, it should happen sort of from this region. But because um, the move up isn't clearly a five wave pattern, I would also still allow for one more low in wave C of B or wave C of two. I am slightly leaning, leaning towards the white micro count, but please don't, um, don't, um, just focus on this because essentially they are both part of the same scenario. Look, we're holding above support. As long as we're holding above support, we're going up. Yeah. And the only question is, does the market offer another pullback or not? And that cannot really be predicted. Yeah. But if the market offers it, this is the support region where we need to watch for a reversal. If the market doesn't offer it, it should tell us that with a break above the yellow line. But in both scenarios, I'm looking at higher. I would only have to change my perspective with a break below 39.6k and we can't even get close to that level so it looks like we're holding support yeah it looks like we're gonna we're gonna follow that pathway um and essentially yeah as i said they're both part of the same scenario it's just a question how deep is the pullback gonna be so i guess uh, we should know in the next few sessions really and bear in mind that towards the end of the trading week towards the end of the weekly candle really there is usually a little bit more action. So yeah, that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.